forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Now the first of three main waves of rain coming in right now in the viewing area. There's one, two, and three. Now the good news is the severe weather threat over the next several days and into the weekend will be way south of here. We're not going to have to deal with that. It's just kind of a cool rain and tonight that's coming in from the southwest. Already a little light rain in Benton County, Warren, down into Fountain Counties and just now moving into northwest Tippecanoe and western White County, southern Jasper, southern Newton. Now this is mainly just light rain, but there are some cores of moderate rain here in eastern Illinois that will move in with time over the next couple of hours. And it'll be a cold rain at that with 40 by 9, 39 by 11, then a southeast wind We'll pick up perhaps a little bit more so the tip may rise a degree or two by tomorrow morning and then we're up to 46 by 11 tomorrow. Some periodic rain though. Three main waves with this and really it starts this evening. Gets out of here on Friday. Four tenths to about eight tenths of an inch of total rainfall. Windy and turning much colder Friday. The high temperature Friday will occur early in the day. And then it will fall from the 30s by late in the day with some flurries and a few snow showers in the forecast as well. Tomorrow, generally in the middle to upper 40s, perhaps 50 down in our southern counties, 48 Lafayette, 47 Monticello. By Friday, these highs will generally occur pretty early in the day before noon. 44 Morocco warms up a little bit in our eastern counties. Front arrives there a little bit later with 52 at Kokomo, 50 at Frankfurt. Tonight though, some of the showers may linger into part of tomorrow morning, then a break, and then another wave of rain kind of overspreads the area tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. That's three, and this is around eight o'clock tomorrow night. Then we may have another break before another wave of rain comes in late tomorrow night and into Friday. Now this is three o'clock in the morning, early, early Friday morning. Now this model wants to get the rain out of here by nine o'clock in the morning Friday. That may be a little soon. The rain may linger a little bit longer, but regardless, I think late Friday we're going to get it out of here. The cold air really floods in, and there may be a few lake effect snow showers and flurries that come in uh, by Saturday. As the cold air is dislodged and is moving southward, it's just been locked up up here for a while, so it's intense, and it will bring the coldest weather of the season so far for daytime highs by the upcoming weekend, and really the cold pattern may hang on for a little bit. November 23rd through December the 5th, the pattern favors below normal temperatures throughout the area, but we've got an active subtropical jet that transports moisture from the Pacific and the Gulf of Mexico. And with that kind of pattern, uh, it can produce winter weather events, and we've got to watch that, especially early in December and in November uh, for a little bit of snow. 25 on Sunday, 36 on Monday, starts to moderate a little bit next week, but boy, we don't even see 40 degrees. We, we may see it by Thursday, but overall below normal temps for a long time. Cold rain and snow, isn't it? Oh yeah, <laughs> get right. ready. Ted, <laughs> okay. Purdue basketball tonight in sports. Yep, that's right. Both teams, men and women, off to a good start, both 3-0. Coach Sharon Versa getting a 